Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Bugs, and yes, I'm back. Guys, y'all thought I was joking? Every other day. And wait until I get more content. Then, it's gonna be every single day. But until then, hopefully you're enjoying every other day, and also been enjoying the clips that I've been posting on, you know, YouTube Shorts, TikTok, Instagram, Fresh Cut. Hopefully you're enjoying all that. And yeah, let's get straight into the video, guys. Now, yeah, the video, as y'all see, is multiverses, constant balance changes, good or bad. I want you to leave a comment down below. What do y'all feel about the constant um, balance changes we've been getting recently? Um, is that good? Is it bad? How do you feel about it? And then I also want to hear your opinion after watching the video, you know, after I say my opinions about it and stuff. Let's get straight into it. Now, guys, I think these constant um, changes are actually a good thing. One, the reason is because we are in open beta. If you don't know, open beta literally means that the game is not complete and it is, you know, due for changes still until the game is fully out um, of release. So I think um, this is the best time to change as much stuff as a, us as the community wants to make the game feel and run smooth as we think it should be. Um, and I know a lot of people that's OG, old school, you know, when it comes to their fighters, they like to just stick with whatever the devs have made up, you know, whatever the devs made the character be, etc. They're like, hey, it should stay like this because this is what the devs did. And in my opinion, I think that's just a bad way of thinking. For example, let's go with Smash Melee. Now, obviously, back then, they couldn't just patch a game and, you know, fix bugs and, you know, fix broken stuff. But, for example, let's just use that as one, which would be the Ice Climbers. I think I call it, what, Wobbling? But, yeah, that was a very 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 and i think everyone could say very broken move and even in their competitive scene it literally had to be banned because it literally was just a grab of death you literally grab somebody and that was it they they, they, they lost like mother like people used to literally put their controller down because they knew they lost and they had to ban it from competitive because it was just that you know strong and it's like we have a game where we don't need to as players ban something where we could talk to the devs and be like hey this is a little bit too strong let's nerf it and I think that is a good thing because, you know, um, for example, at EVO, as we saw with the whole Velma situation with, you know, everybody and their moms using it. Like, even, for example, um, if you don't know, Roger. Roger was an amazing Aria player, literally winning almost every online event or getting second place on online with Aria. But for some reason, when he went to EVO, he played Velma. Why is that? Because the character was broken. The character was overtuned. And I don't think... And I think that's fine, you know, characters being overtuned, but as a community over, you know, playing the character, you know, we find out, hey, what should be changed, what should be nerfed, what should be buff, and, you know, I think that's fine what we're going through right now, um, as, like I said, because we are in open beta. I would like to get all the crazy, crazy bonker stuff out now, so when the game actually is out, you know, it is fine, everyone thing is settled, and then patches won't be more of balancing, but more on the content side. You know, they have more focus on characters, maps, game modes, and all that stuff, versus, oh my god, this character is dominating the queues, offline, online, in tournaments, it's just crazy, we gotta do something, you know? I think it's good to get that out the way now. For example, um, a lot of characters back then was very broken, you know, we had Harley Infinite, we had Bugs Bunny Infinite, we had uh, Batman Loop, we had... A low key loop with Velma that was like five hits and did like 60 to 70 damage. It was, it's crazy, you know? And back then, people would be like, hey, just keep it in and find counterplay. It is okay to find counterplay, in my honest opinion, but I feel like there's, you, you gotta, you know, notice when something is a little bit too broken, you know? There, there should no be reason why my counterplay to something should be literally waiting for them to approach every time or for myself to play the same character just to beat them, you know? And, there, you know, there's matches and stuff, but like I said, I, I'm very glad that this game is doing a bunch of updates to get the game in a more balanced state than forcing us to just, you know, quote-unquote learn this counterplay that could be done better by just balancing the game a little bit more. Like, for example, I, I'm pretty sure everyone's happy that they're not infinitely getting loot by Harley now to 100 by getting touch ones or bugs or Batman, you know, or Arya. If you didn't know, Arya had a touch of death a couple times where she literally would just touch you and you're just dead because she would throw dagger, throw you up, teleport the dagger, I'll touch you again and die. Stuff like that. Yeah, you could kind of counterplay it, but you can't never not get hit in, in, a, in a game, you know, so it's like. You know, we find balance to that versus just, hey, bro, just um, figure out the matchup. Figure out the matchup? What do you mean? I got hit once and I died for it. You think you're saying that I can never get hit by this one character? That That's just unhealthy. 
and like I said, I think that's why I am very happy with the constant updates we've been getting on characters and balancing of these characters. And even the characters that are weak, you know, that, um, because it hasn't only been, um, nerfs. It's definitely been buffs, too, which I'm very happy, um, about, too. You know, for example, like Marvin, um, you know, a lot of people, um, noticed that, you know, he wasn't really anything to reckon. And, uh, multiverses, you know, they say, you know what, we're gonna buff him. And I'm, I'm happy they buffed him. Was it a crazy a lot? It was definitely a crazy a lot, but he still low-key needed it. Because as you can see, you don't really see that many um, Marvins. And, I, and again, that is not the best way to um, balance um, characters. is because not a lot of people are playing them. Because, you know, that's just what is going to happen. But definitely you got to see how the character interacts when people do play him and give him a try now, you know. For example, Garnet. Garnet has been getting so many buffs just because of the fact that people have been playing them. But just haven't even seen success in it really like you you can win on the character but it isn't it, it's very hard type thing because she's more of a committable character and she just gets pretty much outclassed by majority of the um cast um but that's more on ones i think two she definitely is in a better place right now and yeah this, this is my talk about the whole you know balancing on characters and stuff you know i just want to get more inputs about it like for example stripe you know people wasn't too fond of his gun they got the cooldown changed a little bit to make it feel less oppressive and i think they did an amazing job um but there are some people that still want you know more things are done you know there's always going to be people that want more um done on characters than needed to but again this is just you know our opinions coming into the devs and then the devs are going to be the you know the deciders of what they actually do and i think like i said the best time to do all these changes is right now because when the game does officially get announced and f fully on release then you know we definitely don't want to see these characters going through too many changes still because you know this is like the final release type thing but you know obviously if something's still broken you definitely want to um balance but you know after you know this meta thing changes and stuff but like I said, right now is the best time to go through these constant changes that we're getting right now. But that's it for the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoy it. And like I said, I would love to see your comments now about your opinion. Is it still on the it's good? If it's still on the it's bad? Just want to hear your opinions on that. So leave a comment down below about that um, whenever you want to. And if it's your first time ever watching one of my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, guys, because I am constantly uploading every other day when it comes to these type of videos tier lists, montages, vlogs. If you haven't seen vlogs, it's been a big thing on my channel because I have a lot of vlogs um, in New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut, and I go to all of them to compete. And if you want to see that, then you can go right on ahead, uh, you know, by looking through my videos. But that's it for the video, guys, and I'm out, guys. Peace. Yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about Left him back home in a home never stay. Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous. Got another five on the side, she a waitress. But it's getting tough, hard to find out.